So the Rokuko add-on is great if you have an FK rig, but your character has an IK rig. Not a problem. Now in my opinion, IK rigs are way easier to animate with, and they are super fast when it comes to making adjustments to motion capture. So if you know for a fact that your character is going to use Rokuko animations all the time, then I highly recommend modifying your rig specifically for Rokuko. Once you've done that, you can literally pump new animations into your character in less than five clicks, and have total control when you want to edit or clean up the data. To do this, open your character rig file and import any Rokuko FBX file. And you should see the two rigs overlapping. Make sure that your rig's origin is zeroed out. And if they're not roughly the same size, in object mode you can change the scale of your rig until the pelvises are about the same distance off the ground. Just make sure that after you do, press Control A and all transformations to zero out position, rotation, and scale. Now, to match the Rokuko bones to yours, click the Rokuko rig, go to edit mode, go up here, and set into individual origins, activate the snap, and make sure that it's set to vertex. This allows you to snap each Rokuko bone to yours. Once you've aligned the two rigs together, make sure that all the IK control bones for the hands, feet, elbows, knees, head, and chest bones have no parent. Then for each of them, add a child of constraint, set target to the Rokuko rig, and match each bone with its corresponding Rokuko bone. Each time you do this, make sure that you click set inverse. From here, just go through each bone and make sure that they're attached to the corresponding Rokuko bone. The hands should follow the hands, the elbows should follow the forearm, the feet should follow the feet, and the knees should follow the shins. The head target should follow the head, and the core IK should follow spine too. And the pelvis should follow spine. Last thing you might want to do is add a copy rotation constraint to the neck so that it follows the Rokuko neck rotation. Make sure that it's set to offset legacy with the space set to local and local. You're done. Once you've made these modifications, all you have to do to add a new animation is go to file, append, and go to any blender file where you've imported a Rokuko FBX, actions, and select it. If you want to make any adjustments, you can easily drag any bone you want to fix the details. If you got lost somewhere in this video, then do not worry. The Patreons have been sponsoring the creation of a modified Rokuko rig, which I will be given to you guys next video absolutely free. So you'll be able to download mine and use it, or reverse engineer it for whatever you want. In the meanwhile, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.